back to my channel, Do What You Love. My name is Missy. Today I'm going to be making homemade embellishments and ATC cards and stuff for my travel journals and junk journals and just things like that. Just things I'm going to have fun with. And my main focus for it today is using calendars that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. This is this one. It's called Love the Journey. I just think it's really, really cute. It's very in right now with the pineapples and flamingos. And I cut one of the little things out in the back this little spot right here as you can see and I made a little embellishment with it so this is the kind of stuff that I'm going to be doing today using a lot of my scrap like ribbons and um, just like things that I have like laying around I have um, scrap papers and ribbons and um, open gemstones and things like that I have all kinds of stuff and I just want to use some of that up and I have another beautiful calendar that I got from the Dollar Tree which is down here and it goes so beautifully with the brand new um, Paper Studio Boho Vibes um, cardstock pack and I think this pack with this calendar is going to be beautiful to make embellishments and ATC cards and little fun things like journaling cards and things like that to put in my um, junk journals and travel journals and things like that even my planners whatever I want to use it for so that's what I'm going to be doing today and I just thought I would make a process video to show you how I use my calendars and all of the stuff that you see me haul I use all of it to make fun exciting little goodies these also are fantastic to send um, in your pocket letters if you make them small enough of course ATC cards are what you send in pocket letters but these are also fantastic to stuff your um, stuffed envelopes with and flip books and all kinds of paper projects so you can sit down and make a whole bunch of different styles of these and divvy them up between all different kinds of projects so I'm gonna quit rambling and I'm gonna get busy with making these I'm super exciting I, I, I just can't wait to use this new boho collection and this calendar and this stuff they're just gonna match beautifully but I wanted to make one in advance just to show you what kind of stuff I'm gonna throw together so if this looks like something you'd be interested stick around and see what I do so first things first is I want to show you the calendar that I'm going to be using that I think is going to match the Boho collection so well. And it is this one that says, Wild Hearts, a free spirit with the beautiful antlers with the flowers in it. I mean, so I mean, this calendar is going to go with the Boho vibe paper pad just beautifully. It even has paper in here that have um, antlers with flowers in them, as you can see and it's just it's just gonna match beautifully the colors are all the same it's those pale pinks and blues and teals uh, it's Jack dream catchers I just feel like these pad this pad and this calendar are gonna go beautifully together so the first thing I'm gonna do which I'm not gonna do on camera because that's just silly I think you guys get the point <laughs> is I'm just going to cut each image out and then I will get busy making the embellies and ATC cards and whatever else comes to me as I start creating Ah uh -huh. 
finished all my embellishments that I worked on, believe me, I have much more cutouts. I can show you. I have more cutouts from the calendar, but um, this took me quite some time. You know, you can do quick embellishments where you just, you know, take the cutouts and you put them on a nice piece of paper, maybe add a little bit of fringe, staple them together, and you move on. I mean, that takes like 30 seconds tops. You know what I mean? But, um, I went full out with these, so this took me some time, so I didn't film the process video for every single embellishment that you see here before you. Actually, this took me two or three days. I had to take breaks in between because, you know, I live in real life and had to switch over laundry and cook dinner and, you know, those kinds of things. So... I didn't, like I said, I didn't film the process for each and every one of these embellishments that you see here, but I just wanted to show you what I did put together using some of those images that I cut out of the Dollar Tree um, calendar. So this one, I love, I love this one because I love arrows, but this one says, be kind and be brave. I tore up a page out of a book, believe me, an old children's book that I don't care for. <laughs> I had to to be my background and I popped pretty much all of my images with um, double-sided 3M tape so that they really stand up off the embellishments that I used. I added ribbon to a lot of them, gems, and um, I distressed a lot of them with ink. Some of them I did full mixed media. I did all different kinds of stuff with them. Um, um, I used a lot of these. Some of these were my basis, and then I distressed them and things like that. So I just love how they turned out. They're simple, but they're beautiful. They'll be great accents to many, many things. Fronts of flip books, pocket letters, inside embellishments for flip books, junk journals, um, anything and everything you can use these kinds of things for. And then I did do a few ATC cards, so I made sure that I didn't put anything on the outside of them or anything like that because, you know, you want them to fit inside your pocket letter sleeves. Um, this one, I did do the process video for, so you did see a little bit of that, and I distressed this whole thing. This was all mixed media. And again, I used that 3M tape so that it popped right up off, and I used lots of stamping, and I just love how that one turned out. And the washi is perfect, and it just says, follow that dream with the beautiful arrow, which I love. I really, really love that one. I love them deep colors, too. This is the other um, ATC card that I did. Um, and anybody that's new to my channel doesn't know what an ATC card, it's called Artistic Trading Cards. And you do pocket letters with these, which is, fits in actual trading card pocket sleeves, like baseball trading cards. But instead of baseball trading cards for the crafting community, it's artistic trading cards, so something that you make. And you put them in the same sleeves, and you swap them between PAM partners. And I love this one as well. Love, faith, hope with the feathers. So I carried over that with the with the feather washi and added some um, color with the roses because I love this like ombre look. So those are my two ATC cards. I really love how they turned out. And again, I did both of them completely mixed media with mixing inks and things like that. So I love how they turned out really and truly. I made some tags, big ones and small ones. This is one of my bigger, larger ones. Um, I used one of those mason jars, as you can see. I did film a process part for this. I colored some of it in. Um, I used a doily, I used washi, I used enamel dots, I used punch outs. Um, I used lots of um, little embellishments down here, bling, this bow. Oh my God, it just sets the whole thing off and it says, you are loved. I love how that turned out. I think that turned out so stinking cute. I really, really love that one. And then I did a very simple one here for um, the Dreamcatcher. Again, lots of mixed media. I did lots of inking. Um, I did lots of layering on this one and I um, used 3M tape to pop that image up off. I love how that one turned out as well. And then my bigger ones here, um, you know, you can, I left lots of space for journaling or pictures or whatever you would do with something like this. But this one I made into a little pocket. So inside the pocket, I just stuck two little images here, but you could stick anything in there. I just wanted to show that it was a pocket, you know, so that, you know, these, these have, 
more dimension to them and things like that so I really love how that turned out um, I love that I use lots of the stickers and imaging from the boho vibe collection from paper studio I tried to bling everything out I really love that look you know studying things out I really love that and um, again I tore pages out of a book and I distressed them and this image here is of a dream catcher and it says fortune favors the brave and I cut it in the same shape as this like gold um, tag but the tag is very textured it feels like netting so I love that just did some different things and then my other big one over here again is it's it's interactive if you will because um I distressed this little envelope and you can get these little envelopes anywhere just wanted to show you I got it from this is paper studio so I got it from Hobby Lobby probably on sale so I probably didn't pay three dollars for these but I love these little envelopes and I also got my ATC cards in my last haul from um Hobby Lobby which are easy to distress and these fit perfect in these envelopes so um, I use the new washi bling them out and then when you open this I took one of those ATC cards and um, I made it into another little embellishment that you put down and it matches the paper perfect and I distressed the paper and um, I distressed the ATC card and I blinged it out with some washi be brave I just love how that turned out and it goes so well with this and it fits perfect in this little envelope here and then my little velcro um, fasteners I believe it or not I got from the Dollar Tree you can get a pack of like 40 of them for a buck so and I love those and then up here I just used a big doily and a cupcake liner from the Dollar Tree and I put that image wild heart and free spirit that image that came from the calendar blinged it up made it look pretty less spaces for journaling or pictures or however you'd want to use this I just think they turned out really beautiful and they're interactive and I love that I love like little facets of things I showed you this one in the beginning and then this one I just wanted to show you I'm also going to start using the other calendar which I have here the calendar from the Dollar Tree which is more like flamingos and pineapples and more summery sunglasses and things like that which goes really well with that whole um, tropical what was that called again it's been a while since I talked about that the tropical lifeline from um, Michaels so this stuff goes perfect with this calendar so I pulled my tropical lifeline back out and I used some of the stickers and some of the die cuts and things like that so I'm gonna make a whole nother set of embellishments that go with this calendar using the tropical lifeline from Michaels and I just made one to show you so I'm gonna make a whole nother set <laughs> using those see this is a little this is the one I took from here but I love it. I absolutely love how much, how versatile you can do. So I have like one whole set that's kind of like boho themed. And then I'm going to have another one that's going to be like very tropical. But I love that. I love that. So I made one just to fool around and play with it. And I love how it turned out. I think it turned out so cute. And I love this flamingo. So I can ramble on and on and on. I love doing this stuff. It really is a lot of fun. You can use it in so many facets, like I said. And you just utilize the stuff that you have. Like I have tons of tags and um, all different kinds of sizes and envelopes. And I just utilized what I had, ripped stuff up, used washi, used ribbon, um, did lots of inking and mixed media. And I think they turned out beautiful, but they were all centered around the images that I cut out of a calendar. And like I said at the beginning of the video, you can do the same exact thing with using magazines, old magazines. You can get fantastic images out of magazines. Matter of fact, if you guys would be interested, I will try to pick up like a new fall magazine that came out and I will walk you through the same process using um, images out of a magazine. If you'd be interested in seeing that, just leave me some comments down below. But anyways, thanks so much for joining me today, guys. Uh, I hope you really did love this. I mean, I, it was just simple, but it was fun, and I wanted to share it with you guys just to show that you can use all kinds of stuff to make adorable embellies for all different kinds of projects. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and if you're new to my channel, please subscribe and become a lovey. Sorry, that was my phone. 
and join in on the fun. I'm having a project share run right now. I can link that video down below and you can check it so you can get on board and just give you some ideas how to make embellishments for the flip books that we're doing and all kinds of other stuff goes on on my channel as well. <laughs> so please subscribe and stick around. Until the next video, remember to always do what you love. Take care of you and I'll be talking to you soon. Bye guys. Bye.